Hi, it's Ed Salwick, and this is a special. And tonight, the girls are back in town. We have with us the first ladies of doo -wop. We have Barbara, we have Lillian, we have Margaret, we have Nanette, we have Sandra, and we have Beverly. Ladies, welcome. Hi, Hi. 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 Tell us who you are and what group you were with. Okay. Right. My name is Barbara Harris, and I was with The Toys. I'm Lillian Welcome Moss. I'm one of the original exciters of Tell Him Thing. And my name is Margaret Ross Williams, and I'm one of the original cookies. I'm Nanette LeCarry, and I'm from Rip Rider and the Delrons. I'm Sandra Taylor, and I sing with Barbara Harris and the Toys. Oh. I'm Beverly <laughs> Warren, and I was with the Raindrops. Mm -hmm. Ladies, welcome. Thank, now, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Some time ago, Barbara called me, and she suggested that you ladies would love to have a talk show to just talk about your career, your life, mm -hmm. uh, how you got into music and everything. And well, we're here and the floor is yours. You go. Yeah. I'll start off by asking a few questions, okay? okay. Uh -huh. um, collectively, how did you get involved in music? Hmm. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for having oh, us come thank on. You. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ed. We uh, appreciate <coughs> it. I, I was feeling sometimes every time I listen to the radio today and I'm, I'm listening to the stations with Beyonce and them on, I said, what happened to us? They forgot about oh, us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so anytime we can get a chance to tell our little stories of um, how our careers went, I would like to do that. So I thank you. Right, you, and All you right. have great stories to tell. Yes, we do. They, they yeah, should, yes, we do. They shouldn't be left unheard, right. the, the stories. I you agree. Know, uh, I know the music industry has changed, and yeah. you know we have a lot of Beyonce's, and we have a lot of rap stars out there. Right. But you really laid the groundwork for this. Yes. yes. This right. wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you, collectively. You yes. Know, so. right. um, Lillian, how did you get involved with that? Well... Brenda, you know, as you know, Brenda Reed, she's the lead singer of the Exciters. Right. Um, she and I met in high school. The first day of school we met, and we, we were in the same class. So uh, we started talking to each other, and I found out that she loved to sing, and I loved to sing. We loved to watch American Bandstand after we got <laughs> home from school. So we, I used to go over her house every afternoon. And then I had a cousin who also used to sing with me. The two of us had a group. So we decided to ask Brenda if she wanted to be in our group. So we started mm -hmm. a group, and that was the Masterettes. Uh, we made Never Ever. That was our first. Right. It was like a local mm -hmm. hit in, in New York only. Mm -hmm. uh, and then from there, we went to Libra and Stola, and we became the Exciters. Herbie took someone else's place. We had another girl, Penny. Right. Um, she, her father made her get out of the group because he thought we weren't being serious. So, and Herbie took her place uh, temporarily, and then the, the Libra and Stola liked the idea of having a man in the group. Right. So yes. he become a, became a permanent member, mm -hmm. and that's how we got started. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I wanted to mention something um, in terms of music videos. These kids make a lot of music videos now. The Exciters made the very first music video ever mm -hmm. in the world. It was called mm -hmm. Scopatone. Um, it was a video, you played it on a video jukebox. We, 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 um, yeah. we made one of Tell Him and one of He's Got the Power when we were in Paris, France. Oh, nice. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yes. Tell 
to their pioneers. About you? Well, I had family. I came to New York at 12 years old. I had family. I had no idea that I had family that was singing, you know, like in a group. And they were called the Cookies, and they, uh, they did a lot of background for Atlantic Records and other and big name stars back then. And then two of the ladies went with Ray Charles to become Ray Letts. And uh, one of the other girls, sister Earl Jean and I were very close. We went to school together. And we used to listen to them and we'd be going out doing our little oohs and alls behind secret we harmonize. And when they when the other two girls left, uh, Earl Jean and I joined Dorothy, who was my cousin, was the founder of the group. And uh, that's how I got to become a cookie. My name is Beverly again, and I'm with the Raindrops. And how what happened with me was probably in 1962, I was singing under the L with a bunch of guys and hitting notes, and it was the best echo chamber in the world. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Tony Powers came by, and Tony Powers was a, a songwriter from the Brill Building and and um, Trio Music. And he stopped and he listened to us, and we never asked for money at that time. We just sang for the love of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, he gave us a card and he told us to come down to the Brill Building. So we went down to the Brill Building mm -hmm. one day, and um, we were singing in Sunnyside, Queens, and we went down to the Brill Building, and we met Ellie Greenwich and Jeff Barry and Lieber mm -hmm. and Stola Productions. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those little cubicles that had an upright mm -hmm. piano in, yeah. in the room right. and yeah. uh, maybe a chair and a, a little <laughs> table or something like that. And you stood, <laughs> stood around the piano and you sang. Mm -hmm. So we sang a few things and, and um, all of a sudden we, we got signed. And uh, what happened, but uh, I, I ended up recording records for Lieber and Stoller under Beverly Warren. And then all of a sudden, Ellie Greenwich and Jeff Barry had the raindrops. They conceived of the raindrops and wrote songs for the raindrops and did all the recording for the raindrops. And all of a sudden, when it was starting to pick up and do bookings, they asked me if I would like to be a raindrop. And I said, sure, I'll be a raindrop. What's a raindrop? But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing of my life. Say yes and then pay the consequences later. But there were no consequences to pay with the raindrops. Mm -hmm. And then I started touring with them. I was in the road group. I wasn't on the record, but I was in the road group. Mm -hmm. So. Bow, bow, bow,
passed on. My father was the guitar player for Joey D and the Starlighters. Mm -hmm. And he left them to be the musical director and write uh, the sequel to Maxine's Brown, All In My Mind. Oh, he wrote yeah. Funny. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with everybody in and out. I went to all the theaters, the Fox, the Brevoir, the Apollo. <laughs> so I knew that all I wanted to be was a singer. <laughs> and I especially remember I love his concerto because I <laughs> had acting like Barbara this <laughs> <laughs> and also Diana Ross. And so, uh, you know, it, it, I'm also a product of the 70s, so I had an opportunity to travel with certain 70 groups and be a part. Uh -huh. And then my father wrote for some 70 groups. He wrote for BT Express. Mm -hmm. And so I would do mm -hmm. some of the original demos for them before they got the record. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, what else wow. could I be? Wow. <laughs> wow. You made me go to school. So I ended up being an educator, but still, I got another oh, yes. opportunity to um, be a part of the group, a group that I admired. And mm -hmm. um, I, I sang with the Cookies, I sang with Margaret, uh -huh. and, <laughs> and, yeah. and then I had an opportunity to sing with Barbara in the toys. And so I'm still pinching myself. <laughs> I get the opportunity <laughs> to be with all these wonderful ladies that I grew up <laughs> imitating and to tour with some of my father's peers also, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the people that he came up in the business with. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's wow. great. Mm -hmm. And before that, she was a principal. Of a middle school. Yeah. That's right. What a career that was. You, yes. you ladies collectively have some beautiful stories, yeah. and we're going to get into them. Uh, Lynette, how about you? Yeah. Well, it's funny, because like Lillian, I went to high school with Reparata, St. Brendan's, all the way in Brooklyn. No longer exists. Uh, no longer exists, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. <laughs> so, during, it's fun. we would, in the hallways, talking about echoes, we used to go in the closet when they were changing classes, <laughs> and we just started to sing. That's what we did. And we had so much fun with it, and we got into trouble, of course, with some of the nuns, because we had falsified nuns at that right. time. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we graduated, uh, Mary, we were set, well, actually, we were separated in about the uh, junior year, and then she went on with other girls and was singing with them, and she got discovered first by Stephen Bill Jerome right. for Real Good Productions. And they did the first hit, and they went on tour, but when they came back, Steve set them up for another tour, and the two girls, Carol and Sheila, didn't want to do it anymore. So she remembered that we had been singing together, and she asked me, would you like to join the group? That's all she had to say. I mean, that was it. <laughs> I was so happy. And, and you've been here ever yes, since. Yes, yes, yes. That's how it all happened. <laughs>
Barbara, we skipped by you awful quick. Oh. You didn't tell us your story. <laughs> you, you're oh, trying to get okay. away with it. I've been here so many times. I said they probably heard my story. But I will say it. We started in 65, and um, we used to stop on the street corner coming home from school, and we would sing. Uh, Barbara Toomer, uh, she was the, the leader of the group. And um, June wasn't in it at that time. There was another girl named Barbara, I'm, I'm sorry, Betty Stokes and Betty Blocker. And we all went to the same school, Woodrow Wilson out in Queens. So um, June's sister lived in Barbara's building. And she would come to her sister's house in the afternoon and uh, we'd be sitting on the stoop and we'd start singing. Yeah. So it all boiled down, to the two other girls left, the Bettys, they left. And we did a talent show, and this guy approached us. His name was Eddie Chase. And he said, would you girls like to sing professionally? We said, yes. So he took us to uh, 1650 Broadway. The Brill Building. Brill Building. Yeah, and yes. introduced Famous us. Famous Brill Building. Yeah. Yes. Introduced us to uh, our manager first. Um, <laughs> can't even think of his name, damn. Our manager first, Vince Mark. <laughs> Vince Marchese was his name, but, um, and he took us to Bob Crew. And Bob Crew introduced us to the writers, Sandy and Denny. So they took us all in this room around the piano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the piano. Yeah. And yeah. they yeah. said, okay, yeah. sing this. And uh, Barbara sang it first. So I said, okay, then you sing it, June sang it. And then I sang it, and they said, she has the more com commercial voice. My voice was more commercial. So they made me the le leader, and I felt real bad. Oh, yeah. You know, I really felt bad because I know that hurt Barbara. Maybe you had the best voice. I had the commercial sounding because okay. Barbara's yeah. voice was like rich and deep. Yeah. You know, and they didn't want that sound. So I really felt bad though, Ed. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, that's not no, nice. No but matter what to take on it, you did a beautiful job. Yeah, uh, I mean, the recording we is, in, you know, yeah. And we did that song one time, believe I it mean, or not, one time. time. Around the piano, learned this, we learned it, went in there and sang it one time and they said, okay, you're finished. <laughs> we thought they were playing, yeah. but no, nope, they kept what we did the mm. first time. Really? Yeah. And before, you know, six weeks, it went to number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we we said, get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> now, now you talked about um, agents and uh, mm -hmm. how promoters. is it dealing with the agents, promoters, yeah. the managers? Uh, it's tough. It, it can be tough. Uh, everybody's out to beat you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. the promoters and the agents especially. don't want to yes. pay you your that price. True. You know, and um, even the managers. You know, yeah. our manager, he kind of, he beat us. I like the guy, but he beat us. <laughs> but um, it was tough. It was tough because we were women, too. And, you oh, know. That, to, that was going to be my next question. Yeah, yeah. How about the managers the with man. you? Uh, well, we had a couple of managers. We started off um, with a man yeah, who, whose son, who, who was the father yeah. of one of the sons of a, the group called the Masters, who got the Masterette started. Right. Mm -hmm. So he was our manager for a while. He's the one who helped us do Never Ever. But then he wasn't doing so well with us. So that's when we went to, a, um, a, I, I guess you call it a conglomerate that managed mm -hmm. us. It was Big Al Sears, Wally mm -hmm. Roker, who just passed away yeah. from the Heartbeats, yeah. Yeah. And, his, and Wally Roker's brother. And they managed us for a while. Um, and we would do, that's when we became the exciters. Mm -hmm. And we were doing OK, but not exactly well with them. And that's when we came, we met um, Carmine Denoya. Um, and he was our final manager. He's the one. Um, he's the one that they talk about. I don't know if, if you ever heard of the play called "Piece of My Heart" by Bert, about Bert Burns' story. The one who wrote. He's the writer of um, of Tell Him. Yes. Well, they wrote a play about him. His family um, wrote a play about him off Broadway. And they talk about Carmine. And he was a good friend of Bert Burns. So they talk about him in the in the. Um, in the play, but mm. he was a he was a pretty good manager. I have mm. to say this, um, in terms of Carmine, Carmine didn't play. He he, we were like really young kids, and he saw us as kids. Mm. And so he said, nobody's gonna burn my kids. <laughs> so he was pretty good with us. Yeah. You know, when they people used to try to burn us, you know, yeah. he would like step in and take over and make sure they did right by us. You, you know, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to say, he really he he mm. did right by us, and we really mm -hmm. loved him a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I, in terms of the record companies and the agents and all of those, mm -hmm. not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So they yeah. took our gold record, my manager. Did he? Yeah, we didn't get it. Girls, we're going to put it in the office. So, okay. When he disappeared, the record disappeared. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? And yeah. so what happened to our gold record? That's wrong. Yeah. 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 You know, another, yeah. another story I always tell is, when we were the exciters, it, like, we traveled in first class, first class air flights, first class uh, hotels and motels, first class restaurants, the best of everything, mm -hmm. beautiful clothes. And, and, <laughs> and I used to say, wow, look what they give you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, what do I know? Yeah, you look what they later. give you. Wow. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so great. But then when you get your royal, yes. you're, right. you're in the red. And we're like, the red? What is the red? <laughs> <laughs> that means you paid for, for everything, everything that they yes. gave you. They just advanced <laughs> it to yeah, that's that's it. They, they took for themselves along right. the way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't really start getting our due. Oh, this is honestly, we used to make money from gigs. But yes, in terms of recordings, we mm -hmm. didn't start getting our yeah. money until the 80s. They put, our, they put our song in a movie called The Big Chill. Right. And then somebody collected our money from us, a lawyer. And then from uh -huh. there, the lawyer helped us um, hook up with all the other companies and everybody ha who had their fingers in our pie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then nice. we start getting and some money we will never recover. Right. Yeah, know? that's true. Well, it's sad, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, yes. exactly. I mean, uh, uh, I, I use this all too often when I do shows. I talk about Pookie Hudson. Pookie oh, was a yeah. close personal oh. friend, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. and. Uh, I mean, he wrote "Good Night, Sweetheart." He wrote three hundred mm -hmm. songs. Mm -hmm. Wow, it was penniless. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. what it was penniless. The agents and the managers took it all. Yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah. yeah. That's right. How about you, Margaret? Um, uh, Don Don Kirshner and Al Nevins, you know, would under, were uh, over Carol King and Jerry Goff, and that's how right. we were introduced to them by. The Cookies doing all this background for all these top name artists back then. We did a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, that just like you said, <coughs> well, we did all this this stuff and traveled, and we didn't do a, a 
big traveling like you did, but mm -hmm. uh, we traveled and we did shows and, and they bought it, gave us a whole set of s luggage and mm -hmm. we would get nice, uh, uh, Al would say, here, I want them girls to look like that. So I like the way my girls look. And he would just write a check for us to go get what we want and we mm -hmm. all was decked out on when we went to 1650 Broadway. We were all mm -hmm. dressed alike. He liked it that. So mm -hmm. we would dress alike and, you know, and all this here money that we were thought that we were going to be good, and then, like you said, mm -hmm. you get that sheet of paper and you it showed you in the red. What does that mean? You pay for everything I never got yourself. anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, Don Kirshner and Al Nevins were uh, managers. In, uh, Don mm -hmm. Kirshner did a TV show, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Midnight yeah. Express. Yes. 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 I remember yeah. that. Yeah. 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 We never got any big money either. We never yeah. did. We're getting Dorothy, Who uh, who's who's the, who's the, was my oh. first cousin. It's a uh, uh, she. She's uh, uh, the founder of the cookies, and uh, she's the one that saw us getting money. Uh, I'd say about ten or fifteen years ago, we started getting money because mm -hmm. she hooked up with with uh, some agency that get it, you know, got it for and us. You'll never recover. We'll never recover all that money. We never got anything from chains, and don't say nothing bad because. If you look at the R and B uh, back in them days, it was mm -hmm. one of the records was number three. Somebody said, and then one of them was number five. We don't know. We never mm -hmm. got saw anything from that. You know, we never got big money from that. You know, it's, it's sad. Yeah, it is. You know, Beverly, how'd you? Well, I never made big money with the raindrops, and I was on tour with Ellie Greenwich, who was my manager at the time. I don't even remember getting paid. I'm sure I did, <laughs> but I don't remember <laughs> it. I don't really I know. That's how made. small the amount of money was. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I have no complaints. Uh, you know, I, I did it for the love of it. So, yeah, that's you know, true. I, I did, did it for the love too. Yeah. That's, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Yeah. Sandra, did you get into uh, dealing with managers? or? Yes, I had a few. <laughs> 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 but I, I learned from some of the um, trials and tribulations of my father. Mm -hmm. And so it, you know, I, I didn't go fully into it. And so I... That's why I kind of chose another career and just did music on the side mm -hmm. because his story is like their story. Yeah. He did a lot for a lot of people, but mm -hmm. he didn't start getting money un until he was almost at the end of his life. And he mm -hmm. got his money from rap groups sampling his music. Mm -hmm. That's where he got his biggest mm -hmm. payoff. Mm -hmm. But um, So I just kind of made me kind of step back. It's almost said that it had to be that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Because once again, you laid the groundwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You laid the groundwork. I mean, uh, people like Beyonce and them wouldn't be here today if it wasn't right. yeah, the groundwork that you laid. That's you true. Know. So See, true. the sad... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. The sad thing is that um, nowadays, days, I have to give the kids credit. They're a little more business savvy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are. were like the pioneers. Mm -hmm. So all we yeah. cared about, we were teenagers. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. Met, we, we haven't been past New York or yeah. Connecticut yeah. or somewhere. Mm -hmm. So... It was a big deal to yes. us. All mm -hmm. we wanted to do was just sing. That's exactly. it. All we do was sing. The glamour. And, yeah. and, and, and we, we are celebrities. We, don't, yeah. we weren't yeah. thinking about the money. Right. As a, you know, as a matter of fact, in the modern times is when I learned how to do everything, how to, how to even rehearse a band or something like that, because mm -hmm. everything, I mean, everything was done for us. Yes. I, when true. I first went back to singing, I didn't know how to do anything because I never did anything. All I had to do was... Get dressed, look yeah. pretty, get on the <laughs> stage and sing. Mm -hmm. And that's all mm -hmm. I had to do. I didn't have to do anything else. I didn't have to book a hotel, a plane fare. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do anything but rehearse and, and mm -hmm. sing, you know? Uh -huh. And you know, with, 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 we, with the background that the cookies did a lot of background, we mm -hmm. did uh, just about everybody, I would say. Well, I won't say everybody. But we only got $22.50 a side. Sometimes mm -hmm. we would do a whole album, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were hired a lot to do background because we caught on very fast. You know, they weren't right. in the studio all day. Mm -hmm. And when I remember a couple of years ago, I did a background and was, I think it was me and you and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, with somebody. I think it was Gene Louise? Pitt from Jive. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. we did that? Yeah. $250 we got. I said $250. <laughs> and we were getting $22.50. Exactly. And you could do background and then look at all the money you would get. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back yeah. then, we were happy just to get that. Exactly. And it mm -hmm. went through we Astra. Know. We we know you had to be know. a part of Astra. Sure. then you couldn't work yeah. on those stage uh, oh, no, back no, then right. you know, without things. being a they part of Agva and <laughs> Astra. Yes. If yes. they caught you going on yeah. that and stage they and you, sent, uh -uh, they sent they the grabbed you. Rep to 
every it's single show. That's right. Every and right. they were always right. there to get that money. Mm -hmm. That's and right. We, and you see us ducking them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, we did. We did. Where are they? They're in the yeah. other room. Yeah, yeah. Now, to be an actor, you had to pay you, too. Yes, yes. 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 And Agva, yeah. too. Agva was the one that wouldn't Astra let you go on that stage. Agva. 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 I got the card. Agva. I was cleaning Agva. out my drawer. Mr. Bush. And I got a little card. Yeah. Well, one was, was for television. I think that was after. Astra the other was one was to do the clubs. And Agva yeah. yes. had the clubs and the stage Yeah, and the theater. Say, yeah. Yeah. How about you, Nana? It's so funny because... We all, that's a common thread that we all have to bind us. Our managers, uh, <laughs> as I mentioned that, Stephen, Bill, Jerome, I was like 16 when they joined the group, 16 or 17. And they, they did do everything for us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we didn't see, we really didn't see any money. We did. That's yes, right. That's we true. used to do the good guy hops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. 77. Yeah. Well, we didn't get a penny. He would mm -hmm. pick us up and take us. Sometimes we'd have two different hops. One in Jersey, mm -hmm. one in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And we did, mm -hmm. I'm telling every weekend, <coughs> every weekend, and he would say it's for pro promotional purposes, yeah. 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 which I guess it was. Yeah, well, but, mm -hmm. I mean, we did more. Not for him, he was <laughs> getting paid. <laughs> I, 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 I hate to say it, but, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Because when we did have the hit in England, uh, mm -hmm. Captain of Your Ship, when we went there twice in 1968, I think it was, 67, mm -hmm. 68, same thing happened. Uh, mm -hmm. They were having, they got the room service, and we were like waiting to eat. They had their clothes sent out, and we were like ironing our own outfits. Yeah. And then when we got back, mm -hmm. I, we really made no money. Yeah. I think yeah. I got like, um, no, I had wow. no money on the way back. And then we owed the English government taxes. Oh, I had to write, we had to write letters and everything. Yeah, we two tours. We wow. didn't, honestly. Uh, yeah. So you got to travel to England a couple yes. of times? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How was that? That was great. It right. was wonderful. Yeah. It was, like yeah. you said, first class. You know, yeah. I always yeah. don't yeah. wonder why wonderful. we never got to do that. I don't yeah, understand that. Yeah, because really big. I know. I, I don't understand. We never got to so go probably there. Probably the I agent. Know. Our agent used to try to really we get us We were with William along. Morris. I think a lot of us was with well, we, William, William Morris. William Morris was the best. They didn't send us to you. William Morris is who did the Beatle tour. Right. Did you go Beverly? No, I did. I never no, went. I didn't, overseas. I didn't never went overseas. No, no. but we toured oh. in the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the states. Germany, yeah. Australia. Wow. wow, Australia was really, really oh, something. Oh, that's there. a place I had. Got up in the mountains, and saw the Aborigines. Yeah. Oh man, that was beautiful. And they took us. Um, the club owned a yacht, and they mm -hmm. took us around the harbor. Wow. It was yeah. so beautiful. They invited. Um, People, they they had a contest on to to guess our ages combined, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and whoever did that, they That's were right. allowed to come on the boat and mm -hmm. and mingle with us. You know, it was so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But we had fun. We yeah, had we fun. did. Oh, yeah. we, did. we, we had loved fun. it. Didn't make much yeah. money, but yeah, we had but fun. we it didn't bother us. You know, really. Well, well, and once young. again, you, you laid the groundwork. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 The, you said you're a pioneer, and you really worked. Yeah, you yeah. really worked. It's and we're still kicking up our heels today. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. we got a lot and of we're still, God, you're there. still kicking your heels it's up true. today because mm -hmm. uh, depend on you to keep the, the sound alive. Yeah. 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 You know, yes, indeed. We don't want it to die. It's, you know, yeah. you know, there are people who would like to see it die so they could take their genre, <laughs> genre of music in, mm -hmm. but. Uh, Okay, I, I'm I'm we grateful that you're keeping it going. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. We're yeah. Good yeah. Good I mean, I we did that know. show in here where uh, we, we, the all the lead singers. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I must have played that show on on the TV here a thousand times, and every time I play it, I get calls. They say. Wow, that show is great. Are they going to wow. do that again? <laughs> that's and nice. and nice. then you went up to BB King's and you did the show with BB oh, King's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that right. Great. We did. Yeah. Spectacular. Yeah, that was yeah, that was so nice. We had a good time. That <laughs> was that great. was. The thing I remember most about that night when we did the show was I never had such a good time in my life. I mean, I laughed for the half the night. You ladies were funny. I mean, <laughs> and, and not only were you talented and good, but you were funny. But and, you know what was with the B.B. King show? We didn't realize, but they sold the place out and people I would still come trying to get in. in. Yeah. They had yeah. people standing in. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that, that made us feel show. so good, you yeah. know, yeah. because everybody, you know, they still remember yeah. us, you know. Yeah. We'll have to do that remember. again. Yeah, we will. How did you find it with the male groups that were out there? Were they competitive or were they... 
Mm. No, they. I don't know. think so. Ooh, I think they had their own, but not with us. No, yeah, yeah. That's right. But with each other. Yeah, with yeah. each other, yeah, but yeah. not with the not ladies. With the they ladies. Were, no. yeah. And they were very nice. Yeah. I don't know about yeah, everybody. They were very nice. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. so. It was always yeah. like a very nice family. and very yeah. respectful. Yeah. 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 They were pretty much in the same boat as you then. I mean, they weren't making money either. No, no, I know. I know a number of the groups that, you know. I remember we went someplace one time and we didn't get paid. And we had to, we didn't have any money, oh, and, wow. and we had they had we had to call. I don't know who Dorothy called. I, I guess she must have called mm -hmm. Don Kirshner, called the office, and they had to send us money. They had to wire us money. Mm -hmm. We didn't get paid. Wow. Some of us didn't need paid. Yeah. Happening today, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 this is still happening yes. today. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. You have to be smart yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. They used deposit. to tell us if everybody <laughs> wasn't there. Because yeah. mm -hmm. Brenda, would, she had a couple of kids, so she would be out for there. And if the original ones weren't there, mm. they, that's on the picture, then you don't get paid. Mm. They have done oh, that wow. to us. Wow. And really? then that's, wow. what, that's what I tell you where, where it pays to have our nice little, little manager. Because uh -huh. he said, my kids weren't. My kid's going to get paid. Yes. <laughs> he was like our, our, our papa. That was great. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, they tried to do that a lot of yeah. times to yeah. us. We, we actually got stuck once and I had to go. I, I, I paid everybody's way to get home. In Maryland, we were in Maryland. I don't Lucky think Beyonce has to go far. through that or anybody else today. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no. They, have they don't have to go through that. No. 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 A lot of you ladies Big did bucks. studio work. Uh, yeah. Backup oh, groups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How was backup, that? A it was, it was she didn't. She mainly did a lot of backup, great. but we used to do some yeah. backup. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we did, did some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you it was still fun. doing it? It's a lot of fun. No. 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 Yeah. Whenever, no. whenever I'm I called to really do. ask yeah, do. to do it, I'll do it. Never done yeah. it. You know, I just got a, a call. No, we got an email from a guy that asked if if I would do a song for him. And he was going to pay me a thousand dollars. Oh, nice. so wow. Kenny Super. took the song and put the music good in there, girl. And, good, good, good. and sent right. us the first deposit. Oh, wow, <laughs> and the nice. song is really cute. Okay. <laughs> so we said, okay, That's we're going to send it back to him. Just from out of the blue, though, he yeah, yeah. emailed me and asked me if I would do that. Oh, you know? how nice. And, th nice. and think about Dennis Garvey. How we oh, got us yes. from the heart. We did oh, back yes. up from, from the heart. Yeah, 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 we did on the, yeah. And we backed yes. up with Vern Baker. That was great. Oh, yeah. What was from the heart? Well, well, uh, it was, actually was a conception of, of Herbie Cox, right? Yeah, yeah. Herbie Cox and, and the it, was, it really benefits. And the Clemson. It was really yes. as a benefit. For we the, yeah. did one for Richard Nader's wife. Yeah. Yes, when she mm -hmm. died. And, and, and the Vern needed, um, she had Vern lost her leg. Yeah. Somebody else we did. money to get her somebody else. I can't remember who. I can't remember the names now, but we, we did that. Else, right? yeah, yeah, but we backed yeah. everybody. We backed everybody. Yeah. We didn't get paid again. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we had a good time. We, we did it for, for We long. did it for free. No. On that whole show, we did yes, all the back one. Just mm -hmm. about everybody. everybody. I know the uh, the toys and the cookies are still working. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. The raindrops working anymore, or no? The raindrops aren't. How yeah. about the ex excited no. stand? No. Reparati, we, the Delrons are coming back, I hear. They're trying. Yeah. <laughs> without Reparata. Without, Reparata. without Reparata. The But they do have uh, the but Super But we have girls. a group together yeah, called the Super, super Girls, girls group, yeah. Yeah. in which each one of us sings our hit records. Yeah, the yeah. Super Girls, yes. yeah. And I have a solo CD coming out. You got it? Yeah. Hopefully in September. Oh, when is your solo? September? Hopefully in September, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how does somebody Working find out about it? that? Well, I'm going to let everybody know. I'm going to... A certain people, well, you'll be on the list there. <laughs> <laughs> certain people, I'm going to send. I'm going to send like a demo to, oh, and nice. it will, when I send some, you know, some type of publicity to let you know people know. Mm -hmm. And by the way, happy birthday, to your birthday. Oh, birthday. Oh, yes. 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 Happy, happy birthday, birthday to ya! Happy birthday to ya! Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> we're together for that. Yeah. 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 That's it. Right. That's nice. So what does the future hold for you now? Well, as she says, I'm, we're working on a CD, too, me and uh, Kenny. Okay. And we want to include Sandra in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we need, we need, like, another CD to sell at some of the shows. Because right. the people come and they ask... What you did, is that on here? <laughs> <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> so we're taking some of the songs that we actually do live and put it in a CD so we can sell okay. it. Yeah. Any shows and coming up? Yeah, we got a few. 
we, yeah. we're going to. Uh, I bless you. You've been, you've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the that's, cruise what I did. Cruise. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's really a nice cruise. Yeah. The malt, malt shop cruise. They mm -hmm. rent the whole boat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Rocking boat. All they have, yeah. All they have is uh, all the entertainers, and I don't know how many. About twenty different mm -hmm. entertainers. Chubby Checker, the wow. Four Tops, uh, um, Little Anthony Imperials. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the Sun Golden Turner Boys? The yeah, oh, the Golden names. Boys. Yeah, Luke Christie. Luke Luke Christie. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Christie. Yeah, right. Bobby Rydell. Everybody wow. you could Frank think Campbell. of was on, that. Wow, that's <laughs> was on this cruise. Yeah. 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 And oh, only God. the people that come to see <laughs> the show are uh, on right. the boat mm -hmm. at that time. It was wonderful. And this time we were out on the deck. Mm -hmm. Now, all the other cruises we did, we were inside. In, mm -hmm. in the lounges or whatever. Yeah. This time we were on the deck and the pool was in front of us and all the people back there, you, all you could see was people wow, <laughs> all nice. around you. And it's 11 o'clock at night and the boat is moving and the breeze is blowing <laughs> and the hair is blowing and the pants are blowing. <laughs> Didn't it feel good? <laughs> That's, That's a concert good. on the sea mm -hmm. at wow. night like That's that. Great. That was beautiful. I would do that. I do too. Cool. I do too. Call Pete. Well, I'll you have to get the band. super girls together, and you do yeah, that. Yeah, You're yeah, doing yeah. Doing yeah. That. yeah. It's, it's actually Dick Fox's show. If though. Golden, he's, he's if Golden guys, Golden boys could sell, super yeah. girls could yes. sell. Yes. 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 Believe me. Yes. I have some. Uh, you got too much talent left to waste it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Totally well, the great. cookies got a couple of shows coming up. Got, uh, so far, mm -hmm. we have seven, but I don't know how you well, know how many is going to. Because sometimes they cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go around the the whole group. Uh, if you could change, we'll start with Margaret. If you could change anything that happened in your career, would you change anything, or what would it be? Oh wow, that's kind of rough. Oh, I don't. I really don't know what I would. I change. told you to be a tough question. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I what, I, what I would so change. Would you change? Uh, uh, well, I would, I would uh, get a good manager that's going to make sure we get a good little stuff. extra money, you know, that kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. but I would like to work a little more, you know, mm -hmm. I would. You know, with the years that I have, thanks mm -hmm. to man above, we're still here. Yes. And uh, give me a couple of more years, I'm going to be doing this until I'm... I'm no longer doing no more. Okay, I'm good. Good. Oh, that's, I love it. I love it. I'm going to drop, and I told my yeah. dad, I'm at my funeral. I <laughs> want music. It doesn't have to be all religious music. Yes. Every kind of music. Do what right. all of it. Yes. And if you don't, I'm going to come back. You <laughs> 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 sound like me that's when cute. I told my boys. Oh, to. uh, yeah. Beverly, what would you change it? <laughs> Well, I had the opportunity, after I was with Ellie Greenwich and Jeff Barry and Lieber and Stola Productions, to go with the Tokens from Bright Tune Productions. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they managed me too. and recorded me. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to record at this uh, studio, uh, and um, there was an engineer there. And this engineer said to me, he goes, Beverly, I could make you a star but you have to break your contract with the tokens. And you can't mention to the tokens that it's me that you're breaking the contract for. Mm -hmm. And I listened to him. Mm -hmm. I listened to this man, and I broke my contract with the tokens. Because I wondered, why didn't I record more records for the, for the tokens? And then I re remembered what happened. And, uh, and all of a sudden, when I broke my contract with the tokens, um, Nothing happened with this man. He mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. he just, it was, it was, he dropped me like a hot potato. Mm -hmm. Nothing yeah. happened. Right. Wow. Years later, I talked to Phil Margo and I told him what happened and who the engineer was and he couldn't believe it. And then he said to me, Beverly, why didn't you come back? We believed in you. You were unique. We had 2% of the industry. We would have mm -hmm. welcomed you back. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> all yeah. I did was sing. That's mm -hmm. all I wanted yeah. to know. I didn't know anything about business. Yeah. I didn't know anything about hanky panky or anything <laughs> like that. And, yeah. and this engineer wanted hanky panky. Yeah. And I was, I was <laughs> I'm telling you, I wasn't doing grown-up things at that time. I was not. And that's why I, w I believe that's why I was dropped like a hot potato. Well, and probably, I would yeah. change that. That's one thing. That's a big regret for me. Mm -hmm. Sandra, how about you? Well, I, I'm having the greatest time of my life right now. So I, I can't say I have any regrets, but I want to say something. I like to make a pitch to someone. They need to do a documentary on these ladies. Yeah, that's There true. needs to be a documentary yeah. out there. I agree. 
Yeah, they, or they need to have their own television show. <laughs> 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 Lives of real <laughs> singers and see their journey and their travelings and their day to day yeah. things, and then mm -hmm. have a culminating big concert at the end. Yeah. 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 Y
I saw you on YouTube. It was on your show. Yeah, I got everything on YouTube. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. It goes on YouTube automatically. This will also go on YouTube. Uh -huh. okay. So uh -huh. be on right away. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to come in. Um, I want to thank you. you. This was Barbara's idea to <laughs> put it together. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit thank about you, it. And I'm sure that uh, if we think about it, we can do another one of these shows and <laughs> talk about everything. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, you ladies are wonderful. Thank you you have yes. created you music well. that you. will stay with us forever. It will thank stay you. with me forever, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So. Thanks. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Ed. you for watching, and uh, we'll do this again. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Peace, love.
And I've been dreaming of him every night Ever since we met Cause he's the kind of boy you can for He's the kind of boy you can for I remember when I first kissed him He touched my hand and then I couldn't resist him And though he kissed me about a week ago I ain't not over it yet Cause he's the kind of boy you can for He's the kind of boy you can for Whoa, 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 whoa Once again you love me 